What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm going to bring all of you the weekly anime review of Tales of Zestria. Now, before I begin, I gotta talk about something. So, a bunch of you, you know, fans of the games actually clarified for me last week in the comments that apparently last week's episode was a prologue. But also, apparently, it was episode zero, and I titled the episode ep episode one. So, yeah, I, I should have known, honestly. I mean, Studio Fultural loves their episode zeros. I mean, look at Fate Stay Night. So, kind of my bad. Please forgive me for the wrong episode title, like the number of it. And also, forgive me for not understanding it was the prologue. Remember, I have not played the game. So, forgive me for that. But anyways, this episode of Tales of Zestria... I love the different vibes I got throughout this episode. I love the Indiana Jones vibe I got. I love the mystery. And I love the way the world building was done in this episode. Definitely a very good episode using a Fultable's talent when it comes to art and animation. And you can see a lot of things that remind you of a game type atmosphere while watching this episode. Did anyone else get like any type of RPG vibes when you were watching this episode? When you saw like the ruins and stuff to the way the temples were, how the princess fell into the temple and she was wandering around? It reminded me a lot of different things you would see in an RPG game, having to solve some puzzles. And I'm like, that's a water temple, definitely a water temple right there. So just seeing the princess water, uh, wander through that and all that and how gravity switches up, very weird stuff. A lot of mystery building up. It was just such a cool vibe to this episode. It was kind of like a world building episode and a little bit of just introducing the new other main characters of the series. I guess the main focus characters, because when you look at the opening song, you see the main male character, and we see him in this episode. So, it's like this episode was introducing the main male character. I guess that's kind of what the main point of this episode was. Now, I feel like when it came overall to the episode, it left a lot of mystery where you're still speculating and wondering what the fuck is going on here. Like, what is really going on here with the entirety of it? And I, I really appreciate that. I, I do like that. I like the slow build-up, the slow mystery slowly unveiling itself throughout this episode. And seeing how, at the end of the episode, the princess asked the main character, like, Are you a shepherd? It reminded me a lot of how Saber asked Shiro, Are you my master? That's what it reminded me of. It reminded me a lot of that. I'm like, yo, a photo. Well, you're, you're just, you're straight up. You're constantly reminding me of your previous series. And also how the princess, she's like a lancer and all that. And she's going through all this suffering by herself. She's wandering through the halls and shit. I'm like, yo, it's just like, even in another series, any person that's a lancer is still cursed by their lancer curse. They have bad luck. So, I, I just felt like that was very enjoyable moments of this episode. I, I just love those scenes. So, speaking of the content, like, what was this episode really kind of, like, about? So, you have two different halves of this episode, two different sides. One side is the princess and her entering this temple or this ruins from a different entrance and then teleporting and gravity switching. Don't understand the entire concept because, like I said, haven't played the games. And then you have the other side to where it looks like they're in the side of the mountain. Our two main male characters, they Indiana Jones throughout this uh, temple and they kind of don't listen to their grandpa and they go inside of the ruins to explore. Eventually, they meet up with the princess and the episode kind of concludes. Now, there's a couple things here throughout the episode is that there's like some form of lightning storm happening and I'm assuming it's from intruders or something entering the ruins because this is an ancient type of ruins that have a lot of I guess importance to the series so they try to enter the ruins and then a lightning storm starts happening and I'm curious how exactly how that's tying in or what's really going on there hopefully that does get explained and then on the other end you have the where the princess she she's I guess taking a rest inside of the ruins like the entrance to the ruins after the devastation that happened in that village in last week's episode she just takes shelter it looks like she's resting trying to get some sleep and this weird supernatural creature pops up which I hope that's not the last time we see that creature because it was very mysterious and I, I just wonder if it has any importance to the plot or was that the only time we're going to see it and it's just going to disappear is it like one of those creatures you would see in a game to where it like helps you out and it just disappears I wonder if it's something like that but it looked to me like the princess couldn't even see the creature is anyone else did anyone else notice that like it looked like she didn't even acknowledge that creature at all when it was like just whining at her or something it's like she didn't even know of its existence so well what what the fuck is going on there because she saw a lot of supernatural shit in last week's episode, and then she doesn't see that, so what the hell is going on here? I'm curious. I I'm really curious about that, so hopefully that does, you know, get explained. Oh yeah, no scare of things. That, that straight up reminded me of The Mummy. That, that, that reminded me of The Mummy. I, I, you know what's so funny? I talked about The Mummy in my vlog earlier this week. What the fuck? Like, seriously, I talked about The Mummy movies in my vlog. And then in this episode, I see something that reminds me of Indiana Jones or The Mummy and stuff. I just see these scarabs coming out there trying to probably eat the princess. That's cool. I, that, that's really cool. I like being reminded. It brings back nostalgia. I love nostalgia. So yeah, episode overall of 
tells of Zestria. It was a very simplistic episode, it was, at the end of the day. It was just mainly world building, characterization, and that's about it. Hopefully next week's episode we get a little bit more details on what is really going on here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.